those people. Yes. And I said, you know, when it came back down, I got to thank God. It, it, it was it was the Lord, Brother Terrence, with my sister, Minister A and I. I y'all get mad for doing y'all can y'all can get me later on for telling y'all, but I didn't tell y'all. But I thank God because sometimes people can look at it and say it needs to be done. Yes. And then some people are gonna say, I'm gonna do it. I'm going to do it. I said, Lord, if you want to pop me out the church, it's okay. I'll be all right. Um, but, but, but I'm going to do it. And you know what? That's got to be celebrated. Because people are so good at criticizing church. Criticizing what should not be. But then they say, Lord, no, no, let me go fix it. And that deserves fun. When I got, Lord, God is giving me some stuff. When I got here this morning, it was something that needed to be done. It was out of water. And a man of God came to me and said, you know what, Pastor? I'm not going to come to you just criticizing. I got a solution to the problem. I'll take care of this. I said, I'll take care of this, Pastor. So it, it can, because I don't like the way it's been done. It's not done the right way. They say, a, a man of God told me this morning, said, look, I'll take care of it, Pastor. I'll make sure it gets done. Because I'm not going to just always come out and criticize. I'm going to do something about it. That deserves honor. Say, <laughs> y'all, some of y'all parents inside of here, you got Brother Sean Warren, you got this is the, the, the people in the office, Sister Shirley, who want to take care of your kids for Sunday school. Some of y'all know y'all kids bad. Some of y'all shouting right now that you can send them back to school. <laughs> the people, they, they, they can put whatever they want to put on that list. Just take my child. I don't care what you want. You need a car payment too? I don't care what you want. Just take this child. He been here all summer. I need some bread. I need bread. Some people like that. Now, I thank God for mine. I had phone mine just about this summer. And I did. But, but, but some folks, they know they're just terrible. You need to go thank God for that teacher at that school. Putting up with your child. Thank God for the Sunday school teacher putting up with your child. Because half the time we know we can't even run them. Somebody shout honor. 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 So we got to honor. Get this, get this. And sometimes, get this, we are so caught up in being honored and the fact that nobody recognizes us that we don't spend enough time and energy honoring others. It's always rough when people get hurt. Hear me? When people feel overlooked, people feel like they're not done right, it will always be about them. I've learned that about hurt people. I've not bother hurt people that much. When you get ready to talk, you got your mind clear, we'll talk. But if you just church hurt and hurt, I've learned that you will miss out on a hundred good deeds worrying about yourself. Ooh! He want to hear that one, did you? Because you can criticize everything but because you worry about you, but you don't see all the good things happening around you. Mm, y'all, they won't make it there. But, but, but somebody said, remember the honor system. If you want to receive honor, you must honor others. If you want someone to honor your ministry, your agenda, or your work, you must first honor their ministry, their agenda, and their work. We always think, and this is, a, this is, this is critical in the house of God, we always think that what we're doing is the most important thing in the church. Don't we? We always think that my program, my ministry, my stuff is the most important thing in the church. So, we want everybody to honor it. Yet often, y'all better hear this. It's going to hit some home, home for some of us. We don't, find the same, we don't find the same importance in what somebody else does. Meaning that if it's important to you, it's important to them. And sometimes, oh, I'm going to preach this. Sometimes we will look at what's to us. We won't care about the honor of that. But do you honor everybody else what they do? But if you want someone to honor what you are doing, you must honor what they are doing even when you're not leading it. Some folks ain't going to join some unless they're leading it. Some folks can't be followers. Some folks always want to be in the front. You can't expect 100% participation and on-time attendance at your thing, but you don't give 100% participation and on-time attendance when it's not your thing. I watch that stuff. That's the watches. I watch when you tell folks they don't time for this, they don't time for that, but I'm gonna watch to see if you won't time for that. Right. I watch and I see, oh, you talking for something else. I watch if you say, well, they don't attend this, they don't come to this, and I watch do you come to somebody else's stuff. Right. I watch. Because the Bible says, God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. If you give excuses for yourself, expect to get excuses back for them. That's my 
Bible, isn't it? Yeah, no, y'all gonna be okay. I'm gonna be all right. See, the church will never function the way that God designed it to function until the people in it understand the concept of honor. It's just honorable for me to sit there and say, you got something going on, and I'm going to get them out till I get them. It's just honorable for me to know, to try to find an excuse not to be a part of what you got going on, and I said I'm going to be there to help you out. That's just honorable, y'all. Oh, y'all can mad at me all you want to. That's just honorable. This is what real Christianity is all about. It goes to the deepness. It goes to the depth of who we really are. It's not all about on the outside. God looks at everything we, we do. And God said, that's just honorable. And when people of God try to outdo one another showing honor, God will outdo us showing favor. Oh, y'all didn't want to hear that. When we come to church, that we outdo each other showing honor, God will outdo us showing favor. You ain't want to hear that one. Everybody in here should be saying good job to somebody. Somebody making it happen inside. You went to the bathroom, they were clean, they had toilet tissue, they had all these things together. Somebody did that. You need to honor somebody for that. But, 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 my next point, because I feel like y'all, I'm making y'all weary. We must live in a manner that deserves honor. We must live in a manner that deserves honor. Proverbs 26 and 1. Man, this is great scripture. I want y'all to hear this one. It says, as snow in the summer and as rain in the harvest, so honor is not seemly for a fool. That's Bible, right? So we cannot expect honor if we don't live in an honorable manner. You see, it is not fitting to honor a foolish person. Yet sometimes we won't honor even when we don't deserve it. But, but, but the Bible states that it is out of place and it is irrational for it to snow in the summer or to have a rainy fall. The same thing goes for foolish people who expect honor. We must walk in wisdom if we want honor. That means we must apply knowledge in our actions and our words. Wisdom tells us what to do and what to say and what not to do and what not to say. But foolish people they act with no wisdom and speak without wisdom. That's foolish, right? Get quiet inside of here. There is no level of self-control and restraint. Let's talk about self-control, didn't we? Talk about restraint. Foolish people don't have no restraint. They ain't got no self-control. Uh, and, and, and they will say and do anything that they feel like. That's foolish. Somebody say that's foolish. That's, that's not your personality. You just foolish. You gotta learn some things you can say, some things you can't say. Some things you can do, some things you cannot do. Amen? So don't expect God to honor our foolish decisions. I'm gonna break this down. I gotta get out of here. But but all of us have been guilty of making foolish decisions, haven't we? Amen. Oh, you can go ahead and say amen, but that's everybody that's out here. Y'all done made some foolish decisions. You know, and and, 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 and and then we make the foolish decision and we ask God to honor it. Yeah, we do. I'm going to pray on this. How about you pray before you do it? Don't pray after you do it. How about you pray before you do it? Get this, get this. We pick the wrong friends. And then we want God to honor that soul time. You pick that friend. You knew better. You knew better. And God was saying, no. Holy Ghost got a big old stop sign saying, don't do it. But I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to pray for that soul time. Ah, oh, yeah, man. We date and marry the wrong people sometimes. And then it's that God to honor that relationship. I said, I ain't put y'all together. But it's that whom God puts together. I'm getting preaching the word, ain't it? Who God puts together, let no man tear us up. God said, the reason why I get torn on Sunday, I ain't gonna put y'all together. You can go up there and make vows all you Can I preach it? This is Pastor Stephen is saying it. Can I preach it? We gotta understand, you know, thank God. You know, me and my wife, you know, we, 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 now y'all know me. My, my son was at my, my wedding. He, he was in the belly. Amen? But, but you know, God, you know, God blessed us because we made a, a rational decision. But she told me, don't you marry me because I'm pregnant. She said, because when you marry me, you're getting me too. I do believe marriage is honorable. I do believe that the, the bed is under fire. But guess what? That was her point. Now I'm going to say this. Some people want to get married just because they're shacking. I ain't got saved. So I'm not going to marry her. I'm shacking with her. No, no. You can get saved and leave or tell them to leave. Might as well get married. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. You got to pray about 
content thing. Because sometimes we don't make a vow. Well, this is all of us inside here. We don't make a vow to God. And God says, no, you making a vow of honor with a dishonorable person. And they got no intention of keeping their vow, but you made them do something. Now, why don't preach that stuff inside of here? I didn't preach stop shacking. Now, look at Mary. No, no, no. I preach stop shacking. You got to say stop shacking. Then you pray and ask God who you should and should not marry for your honor. You get married if y'all want to. Now, if you're going to stay together regardless, go ahead and get married. Because then it doesn't marry in the birth. But, but then at the same time, you better ask yourself, did God bring us together? That's even with dating. I'm talking about married people. That's with dating, too. Y'all be acting crazy. Y'all y'all dating inside here. Y'all be dating knowing that person ain't good for you. Knowing that person ain't got nothing going on with them. And you want to sit there and still date them and say, Lord, I want you to save them in Jesus' name. God says, can I save you first? I want them to act right, Pastor, and do the right thing. How about you listen to me first? Man, I have a church next Sunday. I'm going to preach this. But that's true. We do those things and we say, Lord, I want you to honor it. God says, uh-uh, that's some foolish decisions. You're not thinking like an adult right now. Get the, get the, get the, so don't get off that. But we buy things by faith. Look at my air quotes. By faith. I'm going to buy that car by faith. I'm going to buy that new refrigerator by faith. We do that by faith. And then we expect God to honor us and help us pay it off. I said, I didn't buy that. My name ain't nowhere on that contract. They didn't ask you at all if Jesus going to co-sign with you. And you can go in there and speak in tongues about that no all you want to. You can call them and speak in tongues and say, Jesus paid it all, baby. If you want to, you got to pay that no. You cannot do foolish things and expect God to bless it. Can I tell y'all something? And if you want, you know, if you don't like this, that's fine. I'm going to tell you what Pastor said because I don't believe in debt. I got plenty of debt over my head at my house. I got debt here. I don't believe in debt. If God blesses to pay this building off, don't expect Pastor to build little tomorrow. I'll be enjoying not having a note for a while. Because if we don't have a note, what we can do? More outreach. We can help more people. Now, when we got, I said this, well, Pastor, where's the church getting full? We go to two services in. I don't mind. I preach to it. Some of y'all go to a different service than the person in, 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 you sit by anyway. You better go to another church service with them anyway. So, so we go to two services. All the time we're going to build one, we go to three. I ain't doing three now. But I do too. Because guess why I said that? There are churches that have gone in and got notes that they could not pay. Had no bills to the pay. Did not count the cost. And they did it by faith. And then they expect God to bless them. And you say, well, Pastor, what's wrong with faith? Faith comes by if God didn't get to know, he's not responsible for it. If God did not tell you to get to know, he is not responsible for what you chose to do. You sitting inside there with 12 members, and you didn't got to a point, you got a little money, you paid something off, and now you want a church to get 51000 That was on you. But you could have, y'all better hear me, you could have said, no, Lord, we're going to take this 12 and affect our community and do some outreach. People don't want to hear about that. Do some outreach. Bless some people with our funds instead of just building these buildings. Monuments to ourselves. Monuments to us. And then we tell God, I, I want you to pay it off. God is whooping me with this, with this debt, y'all. He trained me with this debt. Pastor, not to the door. Y'all can get mad. Y'all want to get another pastor. That's fine. I'm not signing that until God tells me to sign that. I'm not getting back in the debt until God tells me to get back in debt. Y'all can say what you want, do what you want, because guess what? I must listen to God and not man on this one. And let me tell you something. That's why some of y'all in debt right now talking about you can't pay your tithes. Because you made your bills. You made all the bills. I, I said, Lord, I got to cut back some stuff. I got to get out. I got to cut back some stuff right now. I got full cable. Direct TV, cable, got a bunch of channels, like over 200 something. You know, I love TV. But I got Hulu, I got Netflix, I got Amazon Prime, I got all this stuff. And my student was like, Mr. Baker, what is wrong with you? You got all them channels on all those networks. Pay all of them. And then we tell God, I ain't got no money. Go to, go to that, go get a 
cell phone. And, they, they, and you get to the point where you can add stuff on your bill. Don't worry about it. You can pay per month on this, on this watch. Because you don't know why. You can pay per month on this next iPhone you want. And then we get a big old bill and we say, Lord, I can't get my time. God says, no, you were foolish. You were foolish. And now you want me to honor your decision. Get mad when you want to. I can't sit there, you know, God bless us to buy a truck. We bought a truck, but look, we count the cost, baby. You know what I mean? We said, Lord, we're not going out without no tithing because we got a truck out there. I ain't going to say, Lord, I got to do my truck and then we'll pull my truck. No, no, no. God says, I didn't tell you to get that. Y'all get mad at me, Pastor, you couldn't God take No, God gave me sense. I don't pray about everything. I pray, I pray to the Lord. I say, Lord, is, 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 am I well able to do it? But sometimes God says, that's on you. You got enough system. You got enough money to pay for that. 